Hello everybody, this is Gray Hughes. I'm doing an update on Cheryl Powell, the six-year-old woman who went missing on a camping outing with her husband and small dog. Okay, so let's get right to the update right now. Her small five-pound dog was found. Okay, the update is that Searchers have located a dog matching the description of the dog that was with missing camper Cheryl Powell. The dog is alive and was located two and a half miles from Mrs. Powell's last known location. Updates to follow. Okay, so I've actually taken the liberty to put the circumference around. This is the GPS coordinates that were given out as to where the campground was. And this circle here is two and a half miles radius from the campground so any distance from the edge of the circle to the GPS coordinates is the radius so from here to here anywhere around like that so right on the edge of this in some area is where and we don't know what direction or anything like that just that it was two and a half miles I would imagine probably downhill. I mean, I, I can't imagine a dog walking up a hill, uh, but it also now opens up the door that maybe something did happen to her, that maybe she was abducted, maybe she fell, hit herself, and, um, you know, hit her head and got knocked out, and, you know, something horrible happened to her, or maybe even uh, a rattlesnake. Uh, that They actually mentioned that in this update here, that that's one of the difficulties here. Okay, that still does open the door that, as well, that she never actually made it there, and the dog was taken there and let to roam free. I mean, that's just a, a theory that you could put out there uh, explaining uh, some of the oddities here. This is a strange case. It seems so bizarre to me that you're at a, on a camping trip, someone just steps out of the car to let the dog go to the bathroom just for a moment, and then they disappear forever. You can't find them. Pal and her small five-pound dog were reported missing by her husband on July 12th from the Grandview Campground in the Bristlecone Pine Forest area. After selecting a remote campsite, Cheryl Powell, a 60-year-old woman from Huntington Beach, exited the vehicle to take the dog out for a bathroom break while Mr. Powell repositioned their Jeep. Mr. Powell could not locate Mrs. Powell or their dog once he parked the Jeep. After searching for almost an hour, Mr. Powell alerted law enforcement through his satellite device Mrs. Powell is described as an experienced hiker. She is 5'3", 120 pounds, brown hair and brown eyes. The small dog has red, a red leash and is black and white. Well, they found the dog. So could it be that even the dog with the crippled leg that we found out yesterday on the GoFundMe page that the son put up that the dog couldn't run because one of its legs was crippled? And um, so could it be that the dog sort of scampered off somehow and she went after him and then fell? But wouldn't they have found her really quickly at that point? Um, I, I doubt that, you know, she seems like she's an experienced hiker, camper. So why would she go just wandering way off without any way of figuring out how to get back? It just doesn't make sense. Something else happened here. Now, if she fell almost instantly, and I don't know if there's any like small crevices or something like that, you know, maybe she fell in there. Uh, but it just seems like with all the searchers out there covering the area, they should be able to find her. Um, some people are bringing up the concept of maybe a cougar attack or something like that. And while things like that are possible, it's just highly unlikely. Okay, so I, it's still a possibility that she never made it on that camping trip. People say that the, her footprints are there, but I haven't seen law enforcement say that they found her footprints. Okay, 
So we're still following this case, and that is the update. So until next time, everybody, be safe out there.